Hi, I'm Lisa Schulte. I'm the owner and operator of a company called Knights of Neon. We're located in North Hollywood, California. I started in 1984 creating neon sculptures primarily for the film and entertainment industry and the last 10 years for myself for my art career. You know in 1984 when I started playing with lights and mostly it was in discotheques across various bars in San Diego and I found myself drawn to operating the light board and also felt very safe up there and also I was allowed in under the age of 21 as long as I was up in that booth and it was a, away from the alcohol and I just began to operate the light system in a at that time I think maybe we had eight park hounds so little by little I thought I needed to add some more energy into the dance floor and started dropping in a couple of pieces of neon and you know it was just interesting to watch people how it could change the mood or colors and light and space filled the dance floor in, in a different fashion. So, you know, I think at that point I was sort of a light junkie, I guess. Gosh, I've been so fortunate in Hollywood with so many opportunities to work with some of the greatest directors I feel that are on the planet to this day. I did most of all the Batman movies. I did all the Spider-Man movies, films with Steven Spielberg, AI. I've worked with Prince, Mariah Carey, Michael Jackson. The list goes on and on. I sort of hit it at a time in the 80s where MTV was exploding and they were really investing in their artists and creating these amazing videos. And it was sort of the sky was the limit, what you could do and how fast you could do it and produce it and create it. The whole landscape was filled with so much creativity. We really weren't getting reined in. So pretty much whatever we could dream up and get done in two or three days, usually got greenlit. I feel very fortunate that I worked in Hollywood during a time where they, we really had no budgets. It was more about creating something that was awesome and never seen before. You know, the creativity was pretty much endless during that time. In the work that I do, special events, films and television, creating period pieces, I mean, you can't really jump in there with LEDs if it's uh, something that was in the 30s, 40s or 50s. So I think I'm fairly safe in that fashion. The LEDs are coming in a little bit, the fake stuff. I mean, I don't think you can actually tell on camera. Very few good art directors or production designers will substitute that if it's not the correct period. That stuff entered the picture in the late 90s and 2000. I think I'm relatively safe here. So maybe about 15 years ago, after really riding an enormous wave and helping all of that work that I did enabled me to build, I believe, the largest collection of neon that was available for rentals. And the other half of my business was custom fabrications. And at one point I wanted to just experiment on my own and not have it be a paying gig and create something of art from all the years of experience I had had with working with this media. So I started making some sculptures. I started to send them out, you know, like the old-fashioned way, send pictures to galleries. And you know, little by little, people were starting to take notice because I think at the time I was doing that, there may be even three or four other neon artists out there doing works. And I felt my work was of a pretty high standard and caliber. And I had a lot of probably more experience than some people that were out there. I love neon so much. First of all, I don't think there's any other light source out there that can come close to the colors that I can achieve. The actual art form of bending light, I mean, that's pretty spectacular. There's a whole element of chemistry that's involved and there's gases and glasses and phosphors. So there's a lot of technical knowledge you need to know to really be proficient at your career as a neon artist. 
I think the other thing, the fragility of it, it can break so quickly and so easily. It's a metaphor for how my life has been, how easily things can go astray and be damaged and just treating the glass with such care with your hands is how I wish everybody would treat each other in the world just a lot more kind and gentle. <laughs>